Our guest in this segment is Steve Stolifer from the Jefferson County Commission, recently reinstituted as the president of the Jefferson County Commission. Good morning. Steve, how are you, sir? Good morning. How are you? Great. How did your weekend hold up with all the farm animals and such with the snow? Uh, we got them fed. We didn't get as much snow as we were expecting, so that's that's good for the, the farming community, I think. But my children certainly were upset. Yeah, that's <laughs> now. When, I think when I talked to you, you said you had some cows to milk on Friday. Well, we were. I was feeding some cattle. Yes, sir. feeding some yeah, cattle. We, okay. we don't have. We, we have beef cattle. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very well. You you definitely don't want to milk those, Steve. <laughs> no, sir. I don't think it would be very productive. <laughs> if you do, you want to be very gentle. <laughs> very, very, very gentle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, if you're wondering why you were losing money, Steve, and you weren't getting any milk out of this, because you got a bunch of boys there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It would be a, be a good way to lose money, that's for sure. Uh, tell us about the process of you once again becoming president of the Jefferson County Commission, Steve. Well, uh, we, we appointed officers last week, and uh, I was appointed to uh, the president, uh, Commissioner Jane Tabb. Uh, she was appointed to vice president. Um, Jane Tabb, as you m may know, um, this is her 16th year. I believe it's her last year she's serving as county commissioner. That's not been consecutive, but uh, uh, she, has, she has served uh, at, in the position of county commissioner for now for 16 years. Uh, Steve, if I could, you use the word appointed. I think most people realize it's elected and not appointed. We're, well, we're elected, but we, we, we uh, uh, voted for president and vice chair. Yes, sir. Yeah, but who, it is. who nominated you for president, Steve? I believe I'm not. I believe it was Commissioner Tab or Commissioner Machi. I'm not sure. The the paper said Jane Tab did. Okay, there you go. Yes, yeah. sir. All right, and and then uh, I I would assume that uh, that was a three two vote with uh, Majdi and you and Tab voting for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was the, that was the three votes that what I received. Yes, sir. All right. And then the uh, I read the story. The uh, the vice president first broke down in a two two one vote. Can you explain that one? Uh, yes. Uh, um, Commissioner Machi uh, uh, nominated himself. Um, then um, I nominated Commissioner Tab. Commissioner Krause nominated uh, Commissioner Jackson. It was a two two one. We voted again. Um, the, then Commissioner Majde, he joined Tab and myself, and Commissioner Tab became vice chair. And when you won the three-two vote for president, was that over Jackson or Kraus? That was over Jackson, oh. Commissioner Jackson. Over Jackson, very good. So uh, three-two is the vote. You are the new president. And when is your next meeting, Steve? We have a meeting. We meet um, twice a month. We meet the first and third Thursday. The first Thursday is a 9.30 a.m. meeting. The third Thursday is a 6 p.m. meeting. So we'll, we will meet next Thursday. Next Thursday. Any idea what are some of the big agenda items for the Jefferson County Commission this year or this month? Right now, um, we don't, right now, we don't have a lot of big uh, items that we're facing uh, other than budget at this time. We're trying to um, rein in our budget, get that together, and to get that off the ground. As you know, we had a lot of problems last year with our budget. Um, our financial director uh, resigned in the middle of a budget season. We got our um, we got our stuff to the state late, all our documents to the state late. Um, so we're trying to get ahead of that this year. We appointed appointed a uh, interim county uh, administrator that hit the ground running. She uh, just so happened to work for the county. She she's been there. For, she's been there for about nine months. Um, she was the uh, development director. Um, so we're we're working we're working in that. And, and that path forward right now, 100 miles an hour, so we don't have any issues with our budget this year. Bill? Yeah, uh, good morning, Steve. Uh, this is hearsay. My question is hearsay, but you'll be the, in a position to put me right or wrong. I've heard from a couple source sources that uh, uh, Commissioners Krause and Jackson are leave early after the roll calls, shortly thereafter they tend to leave. Is there any truth to that? No, they after roll call, no, sir, they're not leaving the meetings uh, other than, you know, they didn't show up for three months, but they're not leaving um, at this point may, unless there's perhaps a, uh, um, unless they have a conflict of interest, then they'll go out and then haul and wait and come back in. But uh, no, they're they're back in the meetings, as you know, they, they skipped out on meetings for three months. Uh, there was a court order that forced them back 
Um, my understanding, state code 667, the removal process is still moving forward. Yeah, and thanks for clarifying that because that's uh, that was kind of fr- uh, disturbing to hear they were leaving. But I'm glad that you said they have they're not. Uh, as far as the three ju- the three judges have been appointed, uh, do you th- have any idea when they will convene to hear the case of removal for the for the two commissioners? I don't believe they set a date yet, but the but the Supremes when they when they appointed the three, they essentially said time is of the essence. So they want they want this done sooner than later. Yeah, I, yes, I think everybody would. And do you have any idea where they do? Are they required, or will they be convening in Jefferson County? That is uh, what I will assume. However, I do not know. Uh, I have no idea. There's a this is actually a question posed by a neighbor of mine, so I pass it on. Uh, why is this still an issue? If, in fact, they are currently attending, I mean, why is this not a moot point? Well, I, I would just say I'm not a, the prosecutor. I'm not the judge or the jury. Let me start there. Um, but what I, what I will say is it's kind of like robbing a bank. You rob a bank, but you take the money back, you still rob the bank. Okay. So you're still guilty. You, you still did an act that was that was that that you could potentially be guilty of, I assume. So um, it, it's just because they came back to work, I'm, they're, it's not a, certainly not a new point. Um, now, that would be something that the three such panels could consider. I see. Now, and what is the the follow-up step, assuming, not just for the sake of argument, assuming that they are, in fact, removed, now there are two empty seats, what's the next step? It, the, the, same, the same step will apply to when we uh, fill the position – Originally, uh, when, when Mr. Claire Ath resigned, the county commission will have 30 days to appoint someone from the from the date uh, of uh, removal. If the county commission is unable to meet or yet they come up to a lock vote like we were, um, the then the Jefferson County Republican Executive Committee will meet and provide three names and and then. The county commission, once they receive those things, will have 15 days to act on those things. In the event that the county commission cannot meet or act within 15 days, then we start the strike process. The county commissioner with the most seniority will strike one name, and then the second county commissioner with the most seniority will strike the second name, leaving you then your county commissioner. Is this sucking up all of the oxygen in the room for commission meetings? Is there regular work getting done under these unusual circumstances? Um, it certainly was a distraction last fall. Um, you know, we had our first meeting last week. Uh, we had a lot of business items on our agenda. It, it seems like everything's, I would say, somewhat back to normal right now. Uh, it was all business all day Thursday. Um, the really wasn't any, any, lack of a better word drama in the room um but last last fall there's there was a lot of drama and certainly was nothing getting done in jefferson county and as i understand it the the primary trigger for all of this dealt with solar farms and is that is that correct is that safe to say no i don't i don't think that's safe to say they were just in my opinion they were just trying to find something to divert the attention to and that's what they used they for whatever reason they did not like the uh picks um for the county commissioner seat and they sort of made up a, in my opinion made up a story and and tried to blame it on something else but at the end of the day they did not like the picks for county commissioner and they just tried to delay and, and divert the attention and, and probably brought in solar a little bit, but that wasn't the main cause. No, sir. So we'll wave the magic wand, the time wand here, and we're on the other side of this. However, the, the commissioner issue works out. What are the hot buttons for the coming year? Oh, before you, right Steve, now, Steve, hold on one second. Before you go on to that, okay. I just I want to follow up a final thing on the commissioner situation because Commissioners Jackson and Krauss uh, – I've been invited them on the program, and, and they cannot appear right now because of some legal things that are going on. Steve, if, if after the whole petition for removal, is that the end of that, or are there also some legal proceedings 
that could potentially result in some serious issues for commissioners Jackson and Kraus? It is, it is my understanding that if you if you read um, the petitions, the six six seven um, removal petition, um, if there are four. They mentioned four areas of law that they broke. I, I, I can't remember all four that the laws that they broke. Uh, so therefore, it's my, also my understanding that they're being investigated for for those uh, by a special prosecutor. And so that is a possibility, yes, sir. So there could possibly be some serious legal consequences that are uh, yes, go with these actions. Okay. Now back to John's yes, question. Sir. Go right ahead, John, if you want to repeat your question. Just what are the <clears throat> once we're past all of all of this mess with uh, filling the commissioner's seats, what's what are the big issues in the coming year? The, the biggest issue, I think, is still continue to find ways to support our emergency services in Jefferson County. As you know, uh, we did a uh, big big change with our uh, ambulance service just recently, last is last year, March first of last year, twenty uh, twenty three. Uh, we officially took over. Uh, was was the date we took over everything? Um, we uh, revamped that entire program. Um, moved it more to a career uh, status and right now we really uh, we really need to grow that program and that, and that agency um, to to have the emergency services here in Jefferson County for the residents because we're continuing to grow um, I, I'm very thankful that uh, this is also concerned down with our state legislators um, you know last year they were able to fund the volunteer fire departments 12 million dollars and it looks like that's going to be an item this year they want to take up again. So I'm very pleased to hear that. Um, certainly something on my radar as well. Uh, Steve, last year, uh, Jefferson Water was sold to American Water. Uh, since then, there's uh, American Water has been in the news quite a bit for measurably uh, increasing the rates. Are you getting any pushback, any blowback from your role of making this conversion, you being the commission's role in making the conversion? Now, the, uh, I have, I just hear people complaining. However, the commission had zero role in this taking place. Um, the, the water system that was sold was a private water system, and it sold to another private water system. Uh, and that water system, American Water, obviously is for profit and uh, a for profit water system. So they have a CEO, uh, and their their job is to make money. Where if you have your local municipal type of water systems in your county or sewer systems in your county, they're not for profit, and they're not so much there to make money uh, and, and look good on a spreadsheet, but they're there to serve the people. So there's a big difference in the types, two types of water systems that we have here in Jefferson County. Um, now, if you want a lot of details about the water system, there's, there's somebody else that you could probably get on the air. So it happens to have the same uh, last name as mine, um, but uh, she, could, she could probably talk a lot more in detail about the water systems here in Jefferson County. Yeah, we've had her on in the past, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I, sir. I realize the, uh, uh, that you were not the final uh, decision maker in this process uh, because it was private to private. But I thought the, it was my recollection that the commission did, in fact, uh, make a statement in support of. Is that correct or am I wrong? I, I, I don't remember making that statement. Um, I, I, don't re I don't remember making that statement or having any type of resolution. Yes, sir. Okay. Steve, the legislative session begins this week, and, uh, of course, whatever happens at the state level filters its way down through the county. What are you watching specifically uh, this year with the state legislature, and is there any legislation you're hoping gets passed? Well, I, I saw where they're really concerned about education this year. They're uh, taking a good hard look at that and wanting to give, the, obviously, the teachers some more uh, money and raises. Um, I, would, I would like to see them take that a step further and has some type of locality pay here in the panhandle um and I'm, maybe the northern panhandle too i'm not real familiar with the northern panhandle but i can speak for the eastern panhandle we're losing a lot of teachers to our neighboring states um it's hard to keep a lot of great teachers here because it's too tempting for them to just drive over the mountain here in jefferson county or, or across the county line and and do the same job for i don't know 20 30 percent more 
it would be really nice if they could have some type of locality pay uh, for the hardworking teachers here in Jefferson, uh, Berkeley, and perhaps Morgan County. Um, that's that's one of the one that's that's one of the top items I would love to see go through. But I know that that's a that's a big lift. Uh, it's not very popular when you're when you say, "Hey, we want to uh, uh, just take care of a certain uh, group of teachers uh, because of their their zip code." Uh, and, and typically, they like to give a raise for all the teachers and not just not just the uh, locality in certain areas. Steve, um, that's that's one. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I did not mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, and obviously, I, I see that they're taking. Looks like they're going to look again at uh, supporting the local fire companies and volunteer fire companies. That's that's going to be a um, uh, a big big help and in, in the Mountain State. Uh, and something else I would love to see them do. Obviously, I, I believe we're uh, we have another surplus this year in the state, um, and that goes back to ta we need some more tax cuts. It would be really nice to uh, do away with our state income tax. Um, we're still losing populate. Well, it, let me back up. We had we had a lot of people move to the Mountain State last year. However, we're still losing population because we have we have more people um, passing away than are moving to the Mountain State. If we would pass a uh, do away, excuse me, do away with the uh, state income tax. We would have people wanting to flood West Virginia, and that would certainly solve that problem with us having a declining population. Steve, are you support of home rule? Yes, sir, I am support of home rule. Okay. Steve, I would, I would take us back to the um, EMS issues and the funding for uh, uh, firefighters. For, for firefighters and, and EMTs, medics. Uh, within Jefferson County, it's a big county, uh, where are the areas of greatest concern? I mean, it seems, I live near Shepherdstown, it seems to be pretty well staffed all the time, and, and but elsewhere within the county, where are the areas that we really need to pump stuff up? I'll point out, Steve, that John is a former firefighter in AMT. Oh, okay, good deal. Well, um, as you re may or may not remember, we, we did this, did a study, um, as soon as I took office in 21, beginning of 21, it was uh, just called the Fitch Report. Um, they did a study on Jefferson County, and they basically suggested where we need to have our ambulance uh, sitting at and how we should have them staffed. Um, obviously, the heat maps are R Charlestown, Ranson. Um, we have a, a small uh, heat map area in Shepherdstown, Harpers Ferry. And, and a smaller one in middle way. Um, so most of your heat is in the – well, obviously where your population is, which is Charlestown, Ranson. Um, we certainly have to – as you said, you mentioned you live in Shepherdstown. We have a 24-hour uh, ambulance uh, with staff in Shepherdstown. Um, we have one there. Then we have six – total we have six staff during the day and five staff at night is currently how we have it set up. So we have – had one in Shepherdstown, one in Harpers Ferry, two during the day in Independent, one at night, and then two in Citizens, which is Charlestown Ransom. But you indicated that you're pushing for additional funding and additional resources. Is that to be spread across the board, or are there particular areas that of weakness that you want to shore up? I, I would love to see us uh, start having a career fire, a dedicated career fire in Jefferson County. Um, that most likely that those career fire uh, uh, employees would be stationed in, in, in or around Charlestown, Ranson area. Um, and that's sort of what the direction I would love to see that go. Is that dependent upon money from the state, Steve, or are you trying to make this happen with the county funds? I would, I would, uh, e either way, e e any, anywhere we can make it work, uh, you know, there was a motion passed a year ago for us to apply for a safer grant to start this, start our first 12 hour, um, have, have our first 12 hour of, of fire, uh, dedicated fire, uh, fighters here in Jefferson County. So, you know, if we could, 
you know, that certainly the safer grant was not something that's going to last forever. It's a, it's a kind of a process where they pay for, I don't know, 100%, and they wean you off of the grant, 175, 50, and so on. Uh, so that's something that we're uh, certainly in the process of, of looking at. Um, but if, if there's any help from the state, well, you know, obviously we're getting ready to go through budget. If we can, we can work it in our budget this year, that would be. Uh, Excellent as well. Yeah, I having getting money from the state's always nice, but I look at Berkeley County. Berkeley County started aggressively moving toward all pay. They're not there yet, but they're moving aggressively for that. And they did it on their own dime. Uh if they if they get money from the state it might accelerate it, but they've already made a fairly significant transition to uh paid staff. Yes, sir. Any final- I agree, and that's and that's sort of the model that we need to go to in Jefferson County, you know, it's Berkeley County experience, the same thing that, that we're experiencing, um, where we don't have the volunteers like we used to. Um, and, and, it's, and it's not here. It's across the country. Uh, and it's in all your, all your social clubs, your Lions, your Lions Club, your Ruotans, your, yeah, all, all those social clubs, they're, they're all, they're experiencing the same thing. Volunteerism is just not what it used to be. Steve, any final thoughts? No, sir, not at all. just want to miss, wish you all a happy new year, and, and uh, certainly I'll be looking forward to coming on the show anytime you need me. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate your time this morning. Thanks, Steve. Thank you.